Imagine you made a reservation for you and about 15 other people. An hour before your lunch, you get a call that the restaurant refuses to serve you. It happened to a group in Virginia because of a difference in politics. A restaurant in Richmond, Metzger Bar and Butchery, canceled a reservation for a faith-based organization because it didn't agree with the company's, or the, rather the organization's mission. Uh, but the question is, was that refusal of service discrimination? Joining us right now is the president of the Family Foundation, Victoria Cobb, who received that phone call. First of all, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Has something like this ever happened to you? Well, certainly our organization has experienced some vendors that don't want to serve us, but I think it was quite a different moment when a restaurant wouldn't even put food on the table for us. The restaurant put out a statement in response to this, uh, saying in part, recently we refused service to a group that had booked an event with us after the owners of Metzger found out it was a group of donors uh, to a political organization that seeks to deprive women and LGBTQ plus persons of their basic human rights in Virginia. We have always refused service to anyone for making our staff uncomfortable or unsafe, and this is the driving force behind our decision. What's your response to that? How hypocritical that they describe themselves as priding themselves on inclusivity in order to defend intolerant and bigoted actions towards another simply because uh, what they told us verbally, a, a, a person on their team went to our website at familyfoundation.org, found out who we were, and decided that our faith-based beliefs on marriage and, and life wouldn't work for them in their restaurant. What do you think should be done? I mean, has there been any talk of you and the restaurant's owners getting together? Well, certainly we would make that offer. We'd love to have a conversation. It doesn't seem like they're very interested in talking because they wouldn't even let us talk within their organization, their, their restaurant, let alone talk with them. But we'd love to do that. And, um, you know, we're exploring all options. We do have a law center and we're looking at that. But right now, this is being tried in the court of public opinion. And I think Metzger's is being found guilty. People do not want to know that a restaurant has a political or religious litmus test for them walking in the door. You say everybody should be concerned uh, if people are being denied service based on their politics. What do you think should be done as repercussions for restaurants who refuse to serve people based on their views or their beliefs or their faith? Well, in particular, in this case, the, it made it sound like the wait staff literally didn't want to be around us because of what we believe. We weren't asking them to be a part of our event or be included in what we were doing. Um, and so I think we should be concerned that there's such bigotry and hate towards people who hold different political views or religious views in our case that we can't even literally be in the same building. No one wants to see an America where we have restaurants for those that are faith-based and restaurants for those that aren't. That's just not the society that we want to see. And so what did you all do as a result of having that service refused? Where did you go? Well, we were able to find another restaurant. So it was great that we were able to at the last minute. I think it's great that it was a weeknight. I'm glad this didn't happen on a Saturday evening because it was a larger party. And we weren't able to have a private room per se, but we were able to still have our event. But this is the concern is that when you wait an hour and a half before the event, it's intentional that you're trying to make sure the event can't occur because I as, I suspect they figured no one else would take such a large party at the last minute. Victoria, thank you for joining us uh, and sharing your story. And again, I, like you said, it's being tried in the court of public opinion, but you might actually take some legal action. Is that what it, I felt like you inferred just slightly? Well, we're certainly considering all the options, but most importantly right now, just making sure folks know where they should and should not dine if they don't want to be judged. Thank you very much for your time. That reminds me of Sarah Huckabee Sanders when she was uh, Trump's press secretary. It did happen she to went her. to the Red Hen in Lexington, Virginia. She was asked to leave. They wouldn't serve her. Um, it's, uh, it's an interesting, interesting stance for a restaurant to take if you just want to serve someone food. Well, it's happened to a number of different people, but th that was a very high profile case. And you have to wonder, you know, does a restaurant have the right refusal to serve anyone? No, you know, no shoes, no jacket, no, shirt, uh, no shoes, no, no service. political beliefs that we don't agree with. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are asking what's what's happening. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.